We're at Warncliffe. Well, I've got one of them on. Best bike I've ever brought. She's Softest anything. compound. Yeah. Whoa, what the f ah. Climbing. Not very good. <laughs> Oh, tighty. It's really good. Oh, <laughs> price. Got to be five out of five, 50 quid. It's like one of the cheapest. Hello. What's this vlog about, <laughs> Rodney? And where are we? We're at Warncliffe. And we're not at Warncliffe, we're at Sheffield. Yeah, well, we're at Coiners there's, House. There's no houses in Warncliffe. But we're going to Warncliffe. There is at Warncliffe side. Sure. And we're going to do Wide. a bit of talking about these tyres i got them on chip's got them on well i've got one of them on this is my one so it's basically a ride with my mate coiny there who's just joined e-bike land he hasn't been on a bike for six months and then he bought an e-bike without ever having even ridden one let's just have a look at his bike so it's not all about the specialized tires it's about us riding so he's bought the 23 model white the one that i um test rode and loved Happy with it? Yeah, very. Yeah? Best bike I've ever brought. Handle well, don't they? Yeah. Mm. And it's nice you got the black one. We had the orange one and that's a way nicer colour. So, we'll have a look at Todd's tyres here. These are, they only done a couple of hundred of them at the moment, but I think there's plans for them in the future. Cannibal, super, super thick casing, by Specialised. Kind of similar to like a Maxxis DHR. It's like an Asagai, similar to the tread pattern of an Asagai. So what do you know about them so far? What have you remembered? What's the weight of them? 1,397 grams per tyre. Yes, so they're no lightweights. Two ply, but, 60 TPI. Yeah. Don't really know what 60 TPI means. 50 quid. Treads per inch. And the fact yeah, that they're 50 six, quid, the fact that they're 50 quid is very yeah, good. Yeah, and you... look, they're T9, which is the softest casing, and that's actually the Softest the compound. Yeah, it's the only compound they do with these, because they are a downhill tyre, so they're proper. You said 2.4. Sticky, yeah, they only do 2.4. And this is, this is the tread left on them after how many rides? Four, five? Maybe ten. Ten rides? Maybe like eight. Bad. We are still sponsored by WTB, but if we can get hold of something new to try, then we will. Yeah, so we are going to try them. Well, we've been trying them, um, but today is about sort of talking about these and the ride up here in Warncliffe with Coiny and his mates. So my mate Coiny, a bit like me, he's got a pretty heavy job. He does grounds maintenance and he just ended up getting too tired. Uh, after rides when he's at work, so he joined e bike land, same as me, and he hasn't looked back. Those of you who have seen Coiny before on my videos, he didn't ride for six months and then the e bike brought him back into riding. Uh, he lives super close to Warncliffe in a place called Deep Car, it's literally like I don't know, not even a mile. Coiny. Tell us about your decision to go to e-bike when like six months ago you're like, I've never having one of them. Uh, best decision I've ever made. Yeah. Just better all around. I don't ride normal bikes anymore. <laughs> That's it, I am done. Yeah. No, I might ride my other one now and then. Do you feel like it's brought it back like... To 20 years fun. off the legs. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. And you can go out whenever you want, no matter how tired you're feeling. Yeah, you can go out twice in one day, which is what I did the other day. Good on you. Came out, had some... Came out, did some runs, went home, had some dinner, come back out. Still didn't feel too bad for work the next day. So we've got our other two members joined us who Coiny rides with. We've got Oz here. Hello. How are you doing? All right, mate. Local, on the high bike. And then Coxie here. How, How are, are you, mate? Right? And you're on the... Range. Giant, is that the Yamaha or yeah, Yamaha motor? Yeah, Told you it was Yamaha, Coiny. Oh, and then Todd is the I've rose amongst motors. five I've thorns. I've got these merch called legs. Yeah, how does it feel <laughs> struggling up the hills with four e bikes on a 30 degree day? It's hot. Yeah, I bet you're excited to ride here again, though, aren't you? Yeah, and we're with people who know the way round. Makes me realize how far out we were. So we're meant to be talking about these tyres, but we'll talk about them in between.
first trail up already super dusty Nice. That was scary as hell with the dust. Right. Yeah. I was rimding in down there. Oh yeah. Descending. What they like on descending? I actually was rimding in a bit down there because the casing is so hard that I'm running low pressures. You can run them a lot lower than normal tires. But tires, you forget you? that when they are low, they do ding. So yeah. A line so downhill on something like that, they're good, aren't they? Oh, they're amazing. But on the uphill, especially on a bike like yours with 1,200, uh, I was going to say kilos, gram tyre. 1,400. 1,400, you've got to be super fit. Yeah, man. Oh, no. Quite scary today with this. Where am I going? I don't even know if I'm oh, just missed it. Come off the track. This is one of them where it's like, you're gonna come off, you're gonna mother yourself, and with the dust, it's quite sketchy. So what I've got, I'm meant to be talking about these tires, aren't we? I've got one just on the back, because I destroyed one at, um, where was it? Hard rock. Yeah, I'll show you that now. Oh, the unpunchable tyre has punctured. But I'm not going to get that take away from it. That could have happened to any tyre there. There's some big old rock line I went across. Two more things fitting the tyres. How easy was it compared to... Oh, it was mint. I just sat there and watched others. Dad do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I did most of the one. It was just the end bit I needed to pull it in. It? Yeah, and it climbing, because they're heavy and they are obviously sticky. Not very good. No. But it's all right. It's would you say like... it's more... It would be better for downhill and for e-bikes than regular bikes? You wouldn't want it on a trail bike, would you? No. But it is noticeable. I don't mind, I prefer. And you have more nailed a lot of tyres recently, haven't you? So yeah. it's the uh, it's a trade -off, payoff. Yeah. And I've actually managed for the first time ever, you can just see the valve there. This is a borrowed wheel while I'm having a different one built up. I've managed to get the cush core in it, which was easy. Couldn't do it with the MVs. I am riding and I have tyres. They are made by Specialized. You might hear the rim ding. I'm considering pumping them up because it is rocky here, isn't it? I don't know why I'm asking you. You're not here. You're not even a person, you're a GoPro. But per persons watch the GoPro. It's so dusty, oh my god. I can't see the tracks. Whoa. Whoa, little cat jump up. Quite nice. Yo, this is mint. Wow, what the f ah. oh <laughs> I went off track. Wow, we've both gone off track. Look at that, that's amazing. Do you want to do it from up there? Yeah, on our way back up to about here. Never seen any of these before, have you? Nope. Good, aren't they? Amazing. Go on then, I'll play with them. Yo. Yeah. wild that track is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. Just to show you the similarity. Yeah, yeah, Coiny's got a Maxxis DHF. 
Look at that thread. Very, very similar. Probably all made in the same place. Certainly holding his own up these hills with the e-bikes. No play. I'll be wanting to go home by now. Go on, Jibby. So we're following the jib. But it's dusty. The tyres, because they're sticky, they're good in this dust. But the only thing I will say is because the knobs aren't um, they aren't actually very deep or sharp you'll um, when you're in deep dust they sort of lose a bit of grip because they don't dig in that one kicker took me by surprise I didn't have enough to leave for it yeah Funny one, isn't it? Wow. I followed you on that kicker and did the same Every time I go to Sheffield, when I say hello to I know, all right, all right. Had I mentioned it's dusty? I don't know if I've said it enough. Oh, wow. What the hell? Yeah, I think we'll leave them big jumps. Oh god. Wow. I guess you kick it. You go off that rock. Miss that one. Always a fat when you're doing stuff you don't know. Oh, where I'm going. Wow. I missed a few of them little rock kickers. Just didn't know. We didn't go a pussy way. <laughs> yeah. You did pussy way. Behind Coxie. Behind Coxie on Turkey. On Turkey. Was that the name of the track? Turkey, yeah. Apparently there's a narrow gap here for the bars. I didn't get through it without graining myself. Whoa. Nice, nice. Oh, hey, hey. oh tighty. A bit of tighty. Another tighty. Oh my god. That must be it, surely. Drop it now. It kicked up some dust. Right. I think he must have waited then. Wow. Jesus. That's techy, man. Super techy. Okay, I know what you mean by the tight one. <laughs> Jesus. Just gets it that little bit tighter on camera. Yeah. Look at the fitness on him. This is, you can't tell on camera, obviously. Oh! Stop. But it's steep. What happened then? You gonna push? Okay. First one he's pushed. The last one was super steep and he rode it fair deuce to Unlock the shock. Remember to do that. I did the last track I filmed on, I had my shock lock. Talking about the grip on the tyres, and I got no grip anyway because shot was locked. It just bounces. Stuff like this, it's good to have thicker tyres because it lets you trust them on the rocks. They're not gonna rip or slice because these are so thick. They're like moto tyres. Oh shit. Drop. 
Going too slow for that. Whoop. Tracks from just sort of letting the bike do its thing under me and let, letting it work because it's getting so bounced about and because I'm really like nine stone, I just get rattled. What do you reckon to it here in the dust, Rodney? It's really good, like that top bit, you'll probably see it on camera. It's like a steep catch burn. Did we take a wrong line then? I followed the you. Burn. No, I was following. Huh? I had one. It's quite, quite scary, that, that drop into the berm, <laughs> wasn't it? It's a bit naughty. Yeah. It's yeah. all good fun now. Little gap there, glad they pulled up. It's <laughs> about a 10 inch gap. Oh my god. Wow. Techie. Techers. Battery go on the GoPro. Haven't done any charging since Plymouth. Oh, now I'm out on my own here. Jesus Christ. Hey, finally got behind Coney. You only got to take one turn wrong on these tracks and you're going to do big bike damage with these nasty pointy rocks. Oh, he's going well. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to go inside there. I was following the bike. Oh shit. <laughs> got that wrong. Gone all to shit now. Come on. Pick it up. Nice turns. It's actually better that Coney's got away because no dust. <laughs> straight, straight on into a tree then behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's ace. Right, and they'll be stopping halfway down this one. Like that. Oh, rim dingo. Gotta remember I've got this cheap rim on the back, even though I've got the cush core. I don't want to write it off. I'm waiting for the WTB e bike rim to be built onto the Chris King hub instead of the M9. So, is this a new track we're going to now? I believe so, yeah. Go down that real Everything's no, no, yeah, down. it'll be really good. Oh, I remember this bit. God, <laughs> we picked up a couple more riders on regular bikes, so. There's now more, more dust from more wheels on the ground. Yes, Todd. Todd is holy then. Oh, this is eight. Lots of off camera that would be quite tough. It was wet. That's such good fun. Oh yeah. That's ace, that is. What a track. Right. 
So we're now going on to track called Carlin Tree. Which I do remember. Well, I don't remember the track, but I remember doing it last time because of the name. Funny name, innit? I think there was a tree next to the track. Someone had nailed the load of Carlin cans onto. What the hell? Give you straight lines. I don't think that was the line we meant to do. Oh well. I've also noticed these tires are a lot better for leaning the bike in corners more. Because the side knobs don't fold. Can you see them? They are the side knobs. I don't know, I can't remember how it was explained, but some of them are L-shaped, that's for braking. And then there's a special word, and side knobs are that special word, so when you lean in they don't fold. And yeah, you can notice it, because you can lean the bike in a lot more. Yeah. Do you notice that, Jib? Oh yes. Yeah. We are now heading back towards Coinies via some tracks. Been amazing here today. Really, uh, really weird, haven't it? This dry and dusty keeps you on your toes with the, the old vision. Right then, track called Rock Roller. It's got this big old rock in the middle that you roll over. Todd didn't do it first time; said it was a bit scary, but then he did it last time he was here. Okay, let's see what she's like. Nice, like that bit. Hey, nice little hip. Let's get my toe down a bit. Whoa, Jesus. It's all a bit scary because I don't know it. Yo. Oh, there. Oh, that's all right, actually. I'm getting away. That was good. You got away from me a bit. You're going like, look at the top. That was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it's a fair old track. I love all like their fly-offs and hips at the top. Yeah. Brilliant. Nice, isn't it? Okay, so let's sum up for the tyres. Uh, we have. It's worth noting that there is no front and rear; they're just like a tyre. And aren't there's they? no different compounds or sizes. They're all 2.4 yeah. T9. So let's go for fitting. You didn't fit it. I fitted it, and I'd say four out of five. And also sealing, I'd say five out of five it's sealed, ahead, and it? it stayed up. Um, uphill and rolling resistance. Uphill probably three. I think you're being generous there. Ro rolling, too fair. Once you get going fast, it's mint. But yeah. I think on slower, techier tracks, it's because it's a downhill tyre. It? Support. It's, it's a it's a tyre for going fast, isn't it? Support. Support. I'd probably go five because yeah. you can proper lean. Grip. And it's sound. Hang on, grip in the dry. Well, I haven't tried it in the wet anyway. Yeah. Right. So, okay. Uh, yeah. I tried it in the wet at Ardrock. I had one of them. I had them both on, didn't I? And I'll go oh, for... Oh, Ardrock was wet, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, I'll go for a four. Yeah, the treads aren't that deep, are they? So uh, durability. Yeah, not very high. Three. It's yeah. starting to wear, but that's... Anti-puncture. Five. It's so thick. Yeah, well, I punctured it, but that was a bit very severe. And price. Finally, price. Um... Got to be five out of five, yeah, 50, 50 quid. quid. It's like one of the cheapest, decent yeah. cars you can get at the moment, isn't it? Way. Nice. 
I'm guessing this signifies nearly back, yeah it does, under that, under the tunnel. <laughs> Great here, I, need to, I say it every time, I need to come in more often, it's not far away. Why wouldn't we? And we're done, out of the wood. Great ride, thanks to Coiny, great to have him back with us again. Nice to meet Oz and Coxie. Time to go have a shower and have a beer. Check out links in description also where we've got the new podcast. They're back on again with Stuart Kevin Hughes. Thanks for watching. Keep it pinned.